invitation event for uh, amateur and professional. What does that mean? Uh, let me give you uh, uh, what is this going to be. It will be an invitation. Obviously, we have to invite uh, the couple. But obviously, you know, if you just email me and, th and say, can I take part? And then, you know, we will see how many people uh, we can invite uh, and dance. There will be no, there's no competition because, you know, we don't want to do it, to put another competition on the uh, calendar. But it will be something very interesting on my point of view, um, as normally when you do a competition, you, uh, you finish the event and what you get is the result, first, second, third or semi-final, whatever, but you don't have anything to go home and work. Uh, so we came up with an idea uh, that we're actually using in, in our studios uh, for a long time now, but we came up with an idea that if we put, if we invite, let's assume that we are able to invite uh, 12 amateur couple and 12 professional couple uh, to dance, we will mix them. So we will put amateur and professional on the floor at the same time <clears throat> as there is no marking. So there is no, we, there will be no result first, second and third, but we will have the, prof the um, professionals, not the dancer, but the judges, let's call it judges, but they will not judge, they will only comment. We will have them assign a couple each dance for example, we, there will probably be maximum three couple on the floor at the time. So then you have uh, this uh, uh, adjudicator, let me call it adjudicator, but commentator that, you know, is watching this couple dance. And while he's watching this couple dance, is commenting all the dance and is telling this couple, you know, when you did this, when you did that on the first line, you know, you're losing the top line in there. Your footwork is not good. You check your timing here. So... And now all this information that the, the judge, the, the commentator say, does not, it does not go live on the public. So the public, they watch the event, they will see all these couple of dances. But this comment will be available to each individual couple on their phone. We know we develop an app and it will be on their phone that they can keep for life. So now imagine, for example, that you are doing the waltz and you all dress up and nicely, you know, it has to, it has to be uh, the adrenaline of the competition. We want to create the same feeling. So imagine that you are actually now um, dancing and you have Richard Gleave, Anne Gleave, Andre, Melinda, uh, myself, uh, and Brigitta, and then all the other people that I will invite uh, that we will uh, let you know from now on on the website that basically comment your dance. So you have something that you, at the end of the day, you know, let's say you practice for a month, uh, you, you're preparing to dance the United Kingdom Championships or any other competition in January. But, you know, it would be nice to, to have a test drive and have some comment from those professionals that actually can give you uh, something to go home and work. Okay, so it's basically like a study uh, kind of event. Um, and obviously we have to invite people because we need to control how many people will come and, and we have to keep it the length that is actually possible. We don't want to keep it too long. But I think it's something... Uh, imagine some couple, I know that some couple have not danced for two or three years, not for the pandemic, but some couple also had some issue with health. And now they have to come back and dance, let's say, at the major event in general. It'd be a nice test drive for them, you know, no stress for a result. But, you know, there is the adrenaline and you put, you put yourself under pressure to do all dances. And you have a comment that, you know, stay for you, with you. For all your life now you can listen to this comment in 20 years time and it's a nice memory so that's what is going to be all about the invitation event 